Special shout out to all my patrons. Should I change topics? Should I go back to the multi-list? I can always go back to the multi-list. Oh, here's somebody. See if they want to discuss. Yellow. Hello. How are you? Chilling. What's up? Not much. Um, I just want to ask. You agree with these? You don't? Are you disagreeing or agreeing with these? Uh, I agree with all of these. So you believe that a trans man is a man and a trans woman is the same as a woman? Yes. Okay. So can I ask you a question? Sure. What's a woman? Uh, anybody who fits either biological or cultural uh, characteristics of femininity. But there's women who like there's mask women like there's there's mm -hmm. women there's people who are women that have like mm -hmm. to them uh, socially femininity wouldn't be like just being um, excessively like womanly right their 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 social or cultural ideas of femininity would be slightly different. But it's social so it can change. Okay so. How, so how is a, how is a transgender person the same as, like, okay, I, I'm a woman, okay, and I was born a woman. No um, one's born a woman. Yes, people are born a woman. I was born a woman. No, nope, you would have been Anyways, born a girl. You weren't yes. born a woman. I was, okay, a girl, whatever. I was born, I was born and I am what I am. So, so you're a baby? How, pardon? Are you a baby? No, what? Great, so you you aren't just what you are when you're born, but you can change. You were born a baby, and now you're not a baby. Yeah, and you were born one years old, and now I'm not one years old. Yeah, we change. Okay, so can I change how old I am? Just because I was born zero? No, age isn't a social construct. Age uh, examines how many times you've gone around the sun. Age is around how many times you go around the sun, yeah. And gender is not a social construct. It's how you're born. No. So gender is the the categories of man, boy, girl, and woman that we have socially constructed. That's why different people have different ideas of what it means to be a woman or man. That's why some societies had more than two genders, uh, such as the third, the two spirit with indigenous tribes. That's a third gender that they just have. Uh, gender isn't a biological concept. That would be sex. Yeah, but your sex and gender are like par to each other. They are linked. There's a linking between sex and gender, sure. 100%. I would never say there's not a, sm a link between them in some so way. Do you think, so do you think that if someone is, so, okay, so here's a good one. So sports right now. So I play on a, I play on a hockey team. Okay. Do you think that a transgender, no, I don't know which, a transitioned woman? Does that mean that they're a woman now? Trans women would be women, yes. Okay, so do you think that they should be allowed to play on my team? Yeah, why not? Because they're not women? Says who? Well, they're, they're men, like they're biological males. So why are they allowed to play on my team? Wait, you said they weren't women. Being biologically a male doesn't mean you might not be a woman. Okay, well, we can beg to, we can agree to disagree on that, but when it comes to actual, like, like, things that matter. Such as? Such as, like, divide, like, dividing and segregate, things that need to be segregated based off of sex and gender. I don't think anything should be segregated off of sex and gender. I think we're talking about sports. It should be based off of skill, not, not sex. We shouldn't segregate sports just because. So you truthfully believe that when you see a trans person that they're a woman? Yeah, why wouldn't I? Because they're not. They're not the same. Like, I am, I am, like... Are all person... women the same? Are you the same all... as every woman that exists on the planet? Like, my personality? No. Okay, then. But what is... So they're not the same. What's that have to do with anything? You just asked that question. And you just no, you there said you said they are not the same. That's why they're not women, because they're not the same. And what I'm laying out to you is that not all women are the same. Some women are different from other women. But all women have the same, like, bodies. That's not true. That's not true no. at all. There like, are women the who are who, there are women who are built just like cis men. 
There are women who don't have who are born they without don't uteruses. Have penises. There are they women who are penises. born without uteruses. There are women that don't have women yes, uh, and that's, genitalia. And that's a, but that's a medical condition. So like, what's it, that have to do with anything? Because being born with a medical condition is different than choosing to switch something. Wait, like, a, hold on. You I, haven't substantiated why sex and gender have to be linked. Well, I'm just I'm I'm saying that. A wo I'm just finishing what I'm saying. A woman who is born without like that argument is so stupid. Saying like That's that not. not all women, not all women have ovaries because if a if a female is born without ovaries, that is a medical condition. Like. Wait, but if you're going to categorize women by these things, your category of women doesn't fit these women that don't have these things. There is always going to be someone excluded from your categorization of woman. Always. That's, if you're born, if you are born a female and you are, if you are a grown female, then you are a woman. If you are a grown male, then you are a man. Says who? Like I've says history says life that's the way that life rolls like wait that's, that's not an that answer says life is not an answer right M what if my but life then, says then, otherwise but then, who says, but then who says that that um a trans woman is a woman who says that uh biology neuroscience psycholo psychology sociology all of these major medical no, fields no, no they don't yes they do they don't they 100 percent do they just don't. The American Pediatric Association Association recognized that trans women are women. The American Psychological Association recognizes that trans women are women. Yes, because uh, they all... have to. Says like, who? What do you mean says who? Why would Listen, they have I'm to? For, I'm for what? being all I'm for being all inclusive and like for if someone is transitioning that they deserve like like care and that they need to be like they deserve like to, like if someone wants to transition i have no issue with that but i'm just saying that a trans woman is not the same as a woman they're a trans woman they're different are, are black women and white women the same well i mean our colors different are tall and women and short women the same all right well we're different heights but they're they're born female so they're a woman like this is a new thing that if you that if you're born a male that you can transition and no transgender people woman. have existed since ancient Egypt. This isn't new. It really is new though. It's like, not it's new to society. It's it is. quite literally not. The ancient Egyptians had trans people. Ancient Romans had trans people. This isn't new. It's newer. No, ancient Egypt is not newer. What? There have been trans people sent since ancient Egypt. No, not not making them change their bathroom signs and letting men come into my bathroom. I'm pretty sure in ancient Egypt they didn't even have gendered bathrooms. You just went where you went. Okay, I think that's just the. Guess. Also, men are not going into your bathroom. Women are. No, men are going into it. Males no, are women going. Are. Males, males, fine. Is that better for you? Whoop, males. Whoop de do. Why are you staring at their genitals when they go into a bathroom? I'm not staring at their genitals. Then how do you know they're male? I don't want to because you can look at them and see that they're men. You think that you can look at every trans person and tell that they're a man? No, I don't. But I can tell you that I know for a fact okay. that there's been a man inside the same bathroom as me with how a do you woman know? posted up on it. How do you know? Because I've looked at them and they're so you so you have women. looked at their genitals. I haven't looked at their genitals. I've looked at them as a person, and you can tell. You could don't lie. Don't make it like you can't tell when someone's. That, that, that you've never been able to tell if someone's transitioned, because that's 100% bullshit. I've met women that look like men before. Women who have XX chromosomes and vaginas that look just like men. So how do you okay. know that who you saw was a man or a woman if you didn't look at their genitals? Because you can know. Like, there's ways to know. And I just, I'm just saying- Such like, as? I, such as the way that they look. Like, what do you mean they look like men? You clearly just, put boobs on them. So are you okay with trans women that don't look traditionally masculine, that look more like women? Like to come into my bathroom? Just in general. I'm okay with anything. If they want to do whatever they want to do on their own time, I don't really give a shit what anyone does. Wait, yes you do. <laughs> yes you do. No, you don't like really the don't. fact that they call themselves women. You hate, it, it's, it boils you up inside. Because they're not women. Based I don't hate it. It's on just, what? It's just false. It's Based just on false. what? Based on what? 
based on what being a woman is like why are they why are they standing up with me on women okay i'm sorry can you just rem remind me what's a woman pardon what is a woman a woman is an older female so my 10 year old horse is a woman is it, it's a okay a human oh okay a hu whatever and, and where do you get that definition from from myself where do you get your definition of what a woman is so uh neuroscience textbooks sociology textbooks so, sorry, psychology repeat, textbooks so, you biology you what, textbooks sorry repeat what a woman is to you again yeah a woman would be anybody who fits into both uh biological or so uh, sociological uh categories of femininity uh these can change over time and are different Which, what, person to person what? so can you tell me what 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 is what what does that mean like can you explain to me, like, what are some things that, like, so are you saying that someone who is, like, for example, if I'm a woman and I have lots of masculine traits to me, does that mean I'm not a woman because I don't necessarily fit in the structurized women? Well, no, if you had, let that me, mission? if you had waited till I finished to start talking, you would have heard me say that because uh, these traits change over time, they can be different person to person. So what you view as feminine may not be what another person views as feminine. A so, howdy howdy howdy. So so then if that so if I'm not viewing it so then why do they need to transition? What because why do they you may to... not view view what they currently are as feminine. So to them they want to change. What's the issue with that? I'm just I'm just lost because if it goes from person to person on what being a woman is, what do you need a transition for? If anyone because to be... them being a woman is different. Oh, so we're just, anyone can just decide if they're a woman? Just anyone on the planet can just say, I'm a woman? If they identify but as they, a woman, yeah, sure, 100%. But they don't, they don't need to go through the hardships or any of the things that women have to go through. What they're about women who don't go through those hardships? Are they women? Yes, they're, well, if they don't go okay, through then. the same hardships Great. that women go through, then there's usually a biological issue with them or a medical condition. You see, you make these claims, and then the second you get pushed on them, you instantly fold on them. Story, like what claim to be a woman you have to go through the hardships of womanhood i say what about those who don't you say well no not them they're no you don't have to go through well, these you don't actually to have to go through these no, biological hardships I can, I can give you but i can give you an exact here here's one someone who gets her period lo there's lots of women there's lots of women who might not get their period right exactly because if they, they might have a medical condition but that's like a medical condition that they have inside their anatomy that they're not able to get their period but a woman is supposed to get her period like that's part of the biology of being a woman there's no such thing as biology for women there's so female think... biology and female anatomy but gender is different from sex there are two types of sex genotypic and phenotypic and then there's gender and gender identity Okay. I think we're just disagree. I think we're just going to disagree on the fact that I think that trans women are a different category than a woman. Well, yeah, you disagree because you think that. I disagree because I know what the definition of genotypic and phenotypic sex and gender is. I know that these things are different. Okay. I don't know. It's just a little weird to me. Why is it weird? Because I think it's weird that anyone can just say that they're a woman. Uh, do you do you think because it's weird, we should be discounting these people? Just because you find it weird? I'm not dis. You are. Counting. I'm not. You are. You're you're refusing to validate their gender identity. What if I said yeah. to you, you don't look like a woman, so you're not a woman? woman has to look this certain way otherwise you're not a woman and i say you don't fit that mold and i i now rule society and i say you don't fit this role of woman so you can no longer call yourself woman but mine isn't based off of a look mine is based off of if you're a female then you're like an older woman like if you're i believe that if you're born a female you are then a woman yeah so you would have to find a link between gender and sex and why gender and sex have to be linked and exp and substantiate that. Um, like you can't just say it. You have to have backing behind why you say it. I just don't think that it's fair that someone can just 
the woman. Just do you think it's fair up. that trans women have the highest mortality rate among like any group of people? I don't think that's fair at all. Do you think that it's fair that trans women experience the most gendered violence? No, but I'm not part of. I'm not. Do you think it's okay that trans women are more likely to to uh, be essayed? You're saying that it's more likely for a trans woman to be sexually assaulted than a woman? Yes. They have higher, higher, higher um, rates of, of sexual assault in the trans community. Yes. So can, how many, like, what's, what's the rate? Like one in, one in three women are essayed. So what's, what's the trans number? All of them? Uh, no, I think it's like 1.5 out of three. I can pull the direct number up. I didn't know that. But I, I don't think that's fair. But one in two. That... It's one in two. One in two okay. trans women will be sexually assaulted. 50%. And we're, we're at one in three. Okay. I, like, I, that's fine. No, that's not fine that that's happening at all. I didn't mean to say that's fine. But, like, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm sitting here supporting that at all. In fact, I don't support anyone, any violence in any way, shape, or form. I'm just saying that I don't think that a trans woman is the same... So you have, you made this point earlier that trans women don't understand what women go through, right? Do you think them experiencing the most amount of gendered violence and sexual violence doesn't show that they kind of understand a lot of what cisgender women go through? I think that it's completely different what they go through. I think they go through, if not, I think they go through even harder things than what necessarily a what like a cisgendered wait cis means what again cis means you're not trans yeah it's the opposite okay. of trans and i think that they have it much harder actually like i'm not saying that they don't have anything harder but i just think that they're different than women like they're trans women like i can validate that they want to be women but i don't think that they're women yeah, but you, you can't base that on that anything. They should be, I don't think that they should be allowed in my locker room or my little sister's locker room at school. I don't, I'm not with it. When I'm you go not. in locker rooms at school, do you look at your friend's genitals? No, but sometimes you see them. Do like, you think, do you think trans, trans people in those locker rooms, why do you think they go in? Why do you think trans people go into the locker rooms of the gender because, that they're assigned? No, they, they deserve a place to change. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying that they should be forced to go into their assigned birth necessarily like change room but so you I just want to you don't think they should be with you there should be a separate yes because you're uncomfortable around them i mean i don't show my i don't sh i wouldn't be comfortable sh getting naked in front of a man I so quick question if i said i don't feel comfortable changing around black people should black people now have their own changing room no why not? It's the same logic. No, because it's not the same logic. That's it is. Not I don't feel logic. comfortable around this group of people, so they should change separately. But it's not. It, it's not because it's about gender. Like it's not about race. Like a locker room are based off of genders. Like there is a specific Correct. locker room for women and for men. Correct. It's not like. It's not like it's either a black people or a white people change room. And there's someone who's like, if you want to use black and white here, but no, cause this is going to sound terrible. Actually, I'm not going to say that, but it's not the same. It's not, you can't compare those. You, you actually cannot compare those. No, wait, like, we can, so it's segregation. We can compare different, different forms of segregation to each other. It's not, it's not. If you're a, like, a, there's when the, women's bathrooms were created for example okay like when all those locker rooms were created and everyone was there transgender men were not allowed in the female bathrooms they yes, weren't they were segregated and they, and they didn't and they did not go in there they were not there and this is like the what this is like in the last 10 years it's been happening a lot and a lot more and like, I think that we have a right to say something about it if we're uncomfortable with it. And I am. I don't want a biological male in the same change room as me. It's just that simple. Why? Because I don't want a biological male in the same bat in the same change room as me. I just don't. Why? I don't want to have to get naked. I don't want my boobs out in front of this 
I, I just don't, I'm not comfortable with it. Why? And there's a huge group of people that aren't. Yes, I'm asking you why. Because I don't want to get naked in front of someone who's not a woman. I'm, they are a woman. A or a female. Yeah, I'm asking you why. Because I'm just uncomfortable with it. Why are you uncomfortable? I just am. Great. I so if don't... I just keep saying I'm not a, I'm not comfortable with black people in my locker room, but and can't ex substantiate that, why and, should they have I a separate locker room? I pardon. If you just replace the term trans in everything you say with the term black, it's the same stuff people used to say about black people. It's the exact same. <laughs> None of it's different. It's all the same. It, we don't feel comfortable different. around them. They're not actually. Do you know that for the longest period of time, white women refused to believe that black women were women? They didn't view them as women. They didn't. It didn't matter what you said. A black woman was this not a woman to, to them. With race. This has nothing to you do don't with under, race. I'm, I'm making an, a comparison between these two things because this is how history works and it repeats. And right now it's repeating the same way it always has, right? One group of per people are gatekeeping womanhood to remove this other group of people based on preconceived notions and the way they feel about it. That is quote unquote exactly what happened to black women in like the early 20s, even further back into the 1700s. They didn't view them as women. It didn't matter what you said. They weren't women. They okay, weren't. So they weren't these, allowed in women's spaces. The but same these thing. These people were born male. They were, they're men. Like Male and men, men are not synonymous. They're separate things. That's why they're separate words. That's why they're separate concepts. That's why gender okay. and sex are separate. So why is there a male in my change room? Uh, is the male a woman? Then that's why. Oh my God. It just doesn't make sense. Like it's honestly, it's, it's, it's like gross. Like it's just gross. I'm just like over it. I'm over the fact that there's like a male in my change room. Like it's, it's, it's not, it's weird. It's really weird. What's weird about it? That there's a male inside of my change room. You just repeated the same thing, but you didn't explain what's weird about it. That there's someone with a penis inside of a female locker room. Like it's weird. How do you not understand Why that? Why you... they're because... changing. They want to have as much privacy in that locker room as you do. So then why can't they go in a different locker room and have because their own? Because that's segregation. It's not. If you're bored Quite a man. It literally is. Go, hey, here, if you're bored a man, go into the male's locker room or go into a separate trans men and trans women. If they go room. into the male locker room, they will be assaulted at higher rates than you. If they go into a separate locker room, that's separate. Wait, I'm, is this new locker room? Is it going to be equally as good as all the other locker rooms? Yeah, equally as good and a separate one for trans women and a separate one for trans men. So it's like, separate, so it's separate, but it, but it's equal. Yes. So separate, but equal. Yes. And I have, and also like when it comes to like actual bathrooms that have stalls, like whatever, like there's no issue with that. Like if a trans person wants, it's, it's when you're actually changing in groups, especially when it comes into schools, like it's inappropriate. So separate, but equal. Yeah. You don't get that, do you? Have you gotten to that part but, in history class yet? I okay. I just don't understand why. Why would that? Okay. Are you? Are, can I ask you? I don't. I'm assuming you're not trans. You're not giving me like you seem like a male, born male. Are you a cisgendered male? Who knows what I am? I'm asking you. Will that change anything about the conversation? No, but I'm just trying to give like a, okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Can I just say that you are just for this? Sure. Okay. So let's just, no, I mean, let's just say that you've trans, let's just say that you've transitioned. Okay. Why would it be a problem to you to go into a transgendered male washroom? Why would it be why a problem yes, when I someone's invalidating my identity? But I'm not invalidating your identity. By saying, you are saying, hey, I think you're a woman, but you're not the right kind of woman to come in here. You're not actually a woman. If you were a woman, you could come in here. So I, you can be trans all you want, but you're not a woman. That's what you're but, saying. So would it bother, so it would oh, bother sorry, you? Sorry guys, I didn't see that. Anyway, knock, knock, somebody did pay to boot you. So I got to boot you. Uh, shout out to Dawn. Dawn pay donated to boot the guest $30 for 30 minutes. It's the not getting the separate but equal thing for me, bro. 
that took that got me the fact that you did why is my game frozen oh because i have to grab this whoops 